the simple instructions to make an isolation gown uh, in the face of the current shortage due to Corona. It's a two piece outfit made from common painter's plastic. We use three mil for both budgetary reasons and durability during use, as well as a roll of bag stock, eight inches measuring flat, but it actually is a tube. And we cut a length uh, from fingertip to fingertip with a, a head hole in the middle. The poncho is a large square with a head hole in the middle, all tied together with a piece of twine around the waist in combination with shoe uh, bags over the shoes with rubber bands to hold them just under the knees and gloves. This design covers a wide range of individual sizes. This two-piece design of the sleeves and the poncho is pretty much a universal design that should cover a wide range of individuals. And you just need three simple things, a scissor, marker, a ruler, and um, at the end of this tape, we will show the pattern pieces. Um, so we're going to start by making the, the poncho portion of this um, gown. And I've started by cutting a uh, piece of the sheet goods, the painter drop cloth, 55 inches by 96. And in the <clears throat> center, I've cut an eight inch square, which makes a V-neck uh, opening both in front and back for the head hole that we'll then slip over later in the process. This is the second piece of the outfit. This is an eight inch <clears throat> bag stock that we've cut to a length of 75 inches. And in the center, again, we folded it in half and cut an eight inch square out to again make a head hole. And in addition to that, we've gone 22 inches from each end and we've cut just the top layer of this plastic tube, as well as along the bottom edge. And then up the other side, again, 22 inches from the end, <clears throat> which makes a bib and you can see the head hole in the middle. So once the bib is opened up and you see the head hole, the uh, wearer will simply slide their hands in the two sleeves and pop it over their head. And there will be thumb holes in the ends of the two sleeves, which will then be covered by gloves. Okay. I'm gonna demonstrate how to put the sleeve component on. Hold down the neck bib, hands, into the sleeves, slide it over your head, and you can put your thumbs into the thumb holes. Next component is the poncho, which goes over the sleeves, and you simply slip that over your head. Fitting, wrap the back flaps under the front and the front flaps over the back. And it's completed with a belt, a piece of twine. And then you complete it by tying the twine, which serves as a belt, comfortably snug. And this is the completed isolation gown with good motion and good protection to the upper body. This will be completed with a mask and a face shield and boots and gloves.